hello YouTube welcome back to another video and today we're going to look at part 5 of the PSP test driven development and we today we're going to learn about integration testing <clears throat> so you know let's go ahead and switch to the screen all right let me check if it switched first okay that's good now let's go down over here and get started so yeah if you have not checked out part 4 please uh, do uh, the link is right here uh, and uh, it's, you know it will be uh, hard because the project will continue with um, from the part 4 so it's best if you have read the part 1 2 and 3 in the series because this might be confusing because the I'm not going to start the whole new project from here I'll just continue from the files we created and so and the configuration uh, and everything else so please do that if you have not done please check out the previous parts for the series and then you know let's continue all right so first let's add integration right so once we once we want to do integration test we will have to add this uh, configuration to PHP unit xml let's go right here and you know this test should copy this up go to the PHP unit xml file in our root folder which is laravel 5 now let's go ahead and add this up right here add it up I uh, save automatically for me okay now let's close this up and let's go and make the integration folder so we have just a unit folder previously we did calculus test and math test now we're going to make a new folder it's called integration integration okay that's the integration of different classes so how they interact with each other okay so integration folder and this copy of the integration map test is the new file we'll make integration new file math test dot PSG. we're going to do integration on the math class because math class is the one that calls calculate so math has you know the integration between the math and the calculated class so it is calling that dependency so we'll be testing this one up okay the same usual problem of spaces quickly fix this up all right why is this not saving automatically all right control s save control c if yes okay auto save front door okay was not on i see so now what we do is now let's save and then let's go ahead and view the article okay so now the, the definitions of things right in unit test we were doing you know extending if you can go back here we're extending the uh, default ph unit test case class here in integration test the change is that we'll be using test case which is provided by the laravel and here we will be using the namespace of integration and um this is so that we can differentiate treat from unit test and the reason we're doing this test case of laravel instead of the php unit is we will need a you know a, let's say a container that does dependency injection for us for integration tests uh, when you do integration tests you will not want to do integrate the dependency injection yourself because it will be you know a lot of hassle there will be maybe let's say sometimes even tens or fifteens of different uh, dependencies in a class and if you try to do them one by one it's going to be very hard very troublesome so we'll have to use a container and that's provided by laravel and if you see different if, you, if you're using a different framework uh, you can you know check out if they have a container they mostly do like symphony does uh, a good framework should have a container that can resolve dependencies automatically so uh, you can check that out in their documentations so and if you're following laravel which we are doing here then yeah we can use the ioc container provided by the laravel framework all right let's go in um, parent setup okay so now we're just describing this all right so we did this uh, using the default test case which is provided by laravel as we said is here which does a create application and that provides us with the app instance i mean the app variable 
so and this app is the IC container that Laravel provides which we can use um, app slash math uh, since we're trying to just app slash math the math class we're in instantiating this and in the constructor we would have to provide uh, if we go to math class itself it's in the app we would actually need to provide the calculate class right the independency but we, we really don't need to do it because of the IC containers automatic dependency injection it will find it uh, find the you know namespace of this calculate class and then inject, inject it automatically all right that's good and now the uh, actual test that we're writing integration test is test get area is the method we're testing because in the math class you can see that we're doing get area right so testing that we're passing to here we don't need to declare any mockery or anything assertions because we're doing the, the real dependencies so we'll just provide our input and then uh, expect some kind of output and let the real classes do the work so here uh, we're testing right so if we run this up in let's see let's go back here Laravel 5 right cmd here here okay so right here PSP unit and if you want to run this class only we will just copy the path can we copy the path from here if you right click here yeah copy file path and then let's go here and paste it this is oh yeah we do not have Control A to go forward, and then we do no vendor slash bin slash PHP unit. All right, one test two assertions. Oh, amazing! So now let's go uh, down here. We have described this. Yeah, if you want to check more about the Laravel's IOC container, you can do do so through the uh, link right here, which provides you the link to the documentation okay oh yeah face of the dog face funny dog face now he's talking about the ic container automatic dependency injection right who needs that i do it manually i strong <laughs> i just give this for you know just for a bit of laughter in between yeah, it's a brave dog it does does not need a container it does things automatic i mean does things manually right very brave dog all right so now let's go down here oh yeah we're describing the uh, we have not described this yet so l let me go to line 11 this is so that we can uh this test case uh, anything inside the laravel test case will run up and it will be ready so you'll have to do this parent setup for that to work in uh, uh unit test you don't have to but then in here we have to if you're extending the laravel's test case okay and then we are instantiating, instantiating the class at math. Yeah, we talked about this already. Then we did this. Okay. So, already, yeah, that was the missing part. Let's go down here. And add now the more tests are added, right? So, similar to the unit test, we can add up new uh, tests like the, let's say, testing out different lengths and also testing out the exceptions when there is no length provided. So, we can copy this up, this two part right here copy enter enter and then paste it and paste it yeah, space here all right length six response okay there we go let's run it once again now we have three tests and six assertions awesome so that's uh, you know then there's nothing new in integration testing everything else the assertions is the same as PHP unit I mean unit testing um, and so this the only new thing about this is we're using the IOC container to call the real classes and yeah and we're testing through that we're not doing any kind of mocking or those things so even easier than unit testing so integration testing is you know very easy all right but then it's very important too because we need to always test the real functionality of the classes, right? Sometimes the, when we use unit testing only, doing only the unit test, some things might slip out. The classes, something might be missing between the classes when they are communicating with each other you know, in, through dependency or some classes may be called which may be not there in another class. So those things can happen and integration testing is very useful to pinpoint those kind of issues. 
all right we tested this we ran this too so exactly we got this and then we have a funny image here you know since we now know how to write integration test you know time to celebrate yeah so yeah are you saying you want me to dance like that uh, maybe not but i can't say no to my viewers right so let me give it a try <laughs> that's for fun okay so let me move my chair back over here all right i think we're ready i hope my head is not cut so let's give it a try i think that's how he's doing it <laughs> all right okay so switching back my screen thank you so much for watching uh, please uh, remember thumbs up for the article or for my dance <laughs> and please subscribe for the next episode uh, which will be about functional testing um, and the article will be also there and then i'll do a video for that too and i'll see you on the next one please subscribe and thumbs up bye